Now, in order to answer the research question, we are going to follow the same steps of hypothesis testing. To start with the statement of the hypotheses, H0 and H1, then to set the level of significance, alpha, then to apply the appropriate test of significance, which is the PERDS sample t-test, and finally the statistical decision by comparing the calculated value with the tabular value. If the calculated value is more than the tabular value, we are going to reject the H0. If the calculated value is less than the tabular value, we are not going to reject the H0. The first step, statement of the hypothesis. This is based on the research question itself. The research question is that treatment effective in lowering body weight هل هذا العلاج فعال في خفض الوزن؟ From the research question, we will write the H1. This is the H1. If the treatment is effective in lowering body weight, the weight after treatment will be less than the weight before treatment. After is less than before. That's to say, the body weight of obese patients after treatment is less than that before treatment. Based on the H1, we are going to write the H0. The H0 will be the weight after treatment is more than or equal to before treatment. That's to say, body weight of obese patients after treatment is equal to or more than that be for treatment. The t-test is left-tailed. One-tailed as shown by the above stated hypothesis. It's left-tailed because this sign points to the left. هذه العلامة تشير زاويتها ناحية اليسار. So the t-test is left-sided. One-tailed. Then we are going to move to the second step, which is setting the level of significance, alpha. The conventional levels are alpha is equal to 0 0.05 and alpha is equal to 0 0.01. In this example, we will consider it as 0 0.05. Then we are going to calculate the test statistic. Calculate first the, the difference between each per observations. These are the observations. 178 kilograms before treatment, 165 kilograms after treatment. So the difference is 13 kilograms. 180 before, 175 after, the difference is 5 kilograms. 164 before treatment and 170 after treatment, the difference is minus 6 and so on till the last patient which uh, uh, has the weight before treatment 189 and 157 after treatment with the difference 32 kilograms then we calculate the mean for these differences sigma d divided by n. d bar is equal to 120, that's the total of all these values, divided by 10, because these are 10 patients, that's 12 kilograms. So the mean difference is 12 kilograms. The variance will be equal to 177.3 kilograms squared, and the t value is equal to 12 divided by square root of 177.3 divided by 10. This is equal to 2.85. Then we are going to determine the degree of freedom, n minus 1, 10 minus 1 is 9. And lastly, we are going to determine the critical tabular value to compare it with the calculated value. Now we have its one tail and alpha is 0 0.05, one tail, 0 0.05 and the degrees of freedom is 9. So the critical or tabular value is 1.8331.
the conclusion the calculated value is 2.85 and the critical value is 1.8331 the calculated value is more than the tabular value 2.85 is more than 1.8331 the test statistic 2.85 is more than the tabular value 1.8331 so the statistical decision is to reject the null hypothesis conclusion the treatment is effective in lowering body weight